Aloha friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and I do mostly subscription box unboxings, but occasionally I'll do another makeup, skincare, empties video kind of thing. Today we're doing the whole thing. <laughs> I am unboxing my BoxyCharm Premium box for the month of July. Um, This is what it looks like. It's this boxy charm premium. It always comes with a piece of foam. It's usually blue. I don't think it's been another color. Maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> but let's get on into this box. I do have my Ipsy um, Plus here, but I am waiting to get my regular boxy charm box. I'm gonna do like a, an Ipsy Plus versus boxy charm because they're the same price. That should be coming today, but after my break. So get to it soon but today premium I'll start with the little card get a little a little bent but the theme this month seems to be sunshine so boxy charm sunshine and then you get information about all the products and I got variation number 59 if that'll focus I don't know but if it doesn't it says 59 <laughs> that's a lot of variations <clears throat> I'll start with my choice item, which is the Brow Bar by Rima Hollywood Icon Collection. It's like a face palette, I think. So let's see what this looks like in person. It's a very nice packaging. I'm sure you have to clean it often because you get fingerprints on it. But it's a little bit smaller than I anticipated it being, but see what the inside looks like. Ooh. There was like a little fleck of something in there, but it doesn't look like any of the pans are chipped or missing anything. Um, and it comes with a little brush. I don't know, it feels kind of cheap, the little brush, so I don't know if I'll be using this. But it's pretty. So it comes with a big mirror. There's like a a plasticky thing on top of that but I don't want to blind you guys so let's just put my my card here so you can see all the colors without getting blinded well the packaging itself is a little blinding but it looks like there's a brightener a blush this looks kind of like a blush too and that might be a blush or an eyeshadow or something these look like highlighters but they this one looks pretty deep for my particular skin. This one looks like something I'd be using a little more often. And then all these four are eyeshadows. Uh, these two are kind of more neutral, which you know guys, you know I have a ton of. But these two are interesting. This green and this purple. I kind of want to swatch those two because those are the two that interest me the most. Ooh. Those actually swatch really nicely on the hand. Hopefully they perform as well on the eyes. That's the green, which I actually really like. And that's the purple. It does have like a little bit of a brownish tint to it, but I appreciate it's not just straight brown because you guys know how much I love getting brown eyeshadows. <laughs> but actually, let me, <clears throat> let me swatch these highlighters too. It feels so soft. Ooh, I like that one. There's no way that that'd be so deep on my skin this one's super pretty i see myself getting a lot of use out of this one this one i'll probably use more as an eyeshadow than a highlighter because i just feel like it'd just be a little too deep for my skin even completely sheared out it's still pretty dark for me but if you have a deeper skin tone than pasty white it might look pretty on you um you know what since we're just swatching let me swatch these shades that I know are blush okay the blushes seem like a little more chalky like than the other two here's one and the other one barely shows up on my skin so you'd ha probably have to be pretty fair for that to like show up <laughs> yeah barely barely shows up and then there's one more maybe blush shade I don't know yeah, these blushes, if they are in fact blushes, aren't really my favorite. You can barely see that one too. It's more of an orangey shade. And then I believe this is a brightener. I don't know. Let's see. Right there. 
I don't know. It seems like an interesting kit. I'm excited to play with it. And that retails for $45. You could have either gotten this or you could have chosen a blush palette or a contour palette. And <clears throat> I don't know. I tend to reach more for my single blushes and single contours than palettes, but I have a few of each, so that's why I chose the face kit, face thingy. It's nice to just kind of have everything you need there. Um, yeah, so that's nice. The next thing I am seeing is this Nelson J. Beverly Hills Moisture Healing Mask for your hair. It's supposed to detangle, control frizz, prevents hair color fading, seals split ends, protects from chlorine and salt water, restores silkiness and shine, enhances natural body, coconut scent. That is a lot of claims for a hair product. Let's see. I'm already smelling the coconut. You know what? I already smell the coconut and I haven't even broken a safety seal. So let's just keep that baby on there. I am excited if it really does control frizz and detangle because those are my favorite kind of hair products to use. Ooh. Before swimming, thoroughly wet hair and apply the mask from roots to end. Do not rinse. I appreciate that. And then if you use it after shampoo, you're only supposed to leave it in for one minute. Now that's the kind of hair mask that I can get behind. <laughs> don't have to leave it in too long if you do leave it in. And then if you're swimming, you don't have to rinse it at all. It smells very nicely of coconut. If you don't like coconut, of course, you're not going to like the scent, but if you like coconut, it smells like a really nice, sweet, fresh coconut. And that retails for $24. So I am excited to try this when I get through my current hair mask that I have. The next thing I'm seeing, I'm actually excited to try. And this packaging is kind of cool. It's like a triangle. This is the Milk Kush Lash Primer. And it does have like a little tape Thingy. Oh, it says White Widow, so it's in white. Um, for lash primers, I don't know about you guys, but I actually do prefer a black lash primer. Like, I just recently had to throw out a Laura Geller lash primer that I had that was black. I loved it. It was so nice. You could use it alone as mascara. The only thing I don't like about the white eyeshadow primers is sometimes if you don't quite coat your lashes nicely enough, um, the white can show through. But this is very heavy. It's very nice. I'm excited to use it. I've heard really good things about the Kush Mascara. So maybe the Kush Lash Primer will be just that. I'm actually going to open it because I don't have a lash primer. So um, I can start using this right away. Oh, that's an interesting looking wand. If you can see that. I don't know. I'm excited to try it. I don't know if I'm just smelling the coconut still or if this smells like coconut. It might smell like coconut. I don't know. But I am excited to give this a try for sure. If I remember, I will use it tomorrow. If I'm even going to be wearing makeup tomorrow, we'll see. But this retails for $24. Excited for that. The next thing is this Biro Bitter Green Essence Toner. You guys know I love getting toners. I'm kind of stocked on toners right now, so I don't necessarily... Okay, and this is not glass. Yay, it's plastic. So if I drop it, then it's not going to break everywhere. It's a really pretty packaging, very sleek and minimal. It has like bubbles in it. It looks like it's a little more viscous than most of my other toners. But I'm definitely excited to get this. This thing retails for like $95. $95 for a toner. So even if I love it, I would never buy a toner for $95. That's just insane to me. But for that much money, it better be the best toner I've ever used in my life. Just saying. And the next thing is this Cuccio Cuticle Oil Milk and Honey. Mmm. That smells nice. Um, I'm not going to... Actually, you know what? Maybe I will open this because I don't think I have a cuticle oil, oil right now. It says glass. Yes. Oh, glass. I'm glad it didn't break though. Okay. Um, I apologize for the sorry state of my nails. I used press-ons and they did last for a while because I put them on on 4th of July. Uh, so almost two weeks. But some of them had fallen off and then I made the mistake of like peeling a couple of them off so my nails are looking really horrendous right now so let's just take a dibble dabble of this cuticle oil there's so much okay I don't want to use too much let's just see 
Oh yeah, that's nice. That smells nice. It'll be nice since I made the mistake of peeling those press-on nails off. It'll hopefully make my nails look better, my cuticles feel better. It's a little oily, but it's a cuticle oil, so of course it's going to be oily. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll get some use out of this. I like that. It smells nice. I don't like that it's glass because I am a klutz, you guys. But... I don't think I've ever gotten a cuticle oil from Boxy Charm, and if I have, it has been a hot minute. I think I might have gotten a, like an Odessi cuticle oil over a year ago, but it was tiny. Like this is a good size. This is 75 milliliters or 2.5 fluid ounces, so that's nice. That's a nice size, and it, there's definitely already a vast improvement in the way that my non-press-on nails look right now. The last thing, oh, and that retails for $18. It smells so good. Mm, I love it. Okay, the last thing is this Morphe and, and Manny MUA Glam Palette. I'm not super excited about getting something Morphe in general, but especially in the premium box. But let's see. Oh, that actually looks kind of pretty. A lot of neutrals, though. It's mostly neutrals besides, like, the throw in this color right here. But it comes with a couple of highlighters, some eyeshadows. Uh, I'm not going to swatch this particular one right now because I am undecided if I'm going to keep it or not. But there it is, so you can see it. And it's in bubble wrap, which is great. <laughs> okay, so there is that. So that retails for $20. Oh, that's a pretty nice price for a palette depending on how it performs I don't know I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it yet we'll see I might look up some reviews on it or something um, and see if I really need it in my collection but to recap we got the Morphe Manny and UA glam palette which retails for $20 which I don't know if I'm gonna keep or not but it's there if I do decide to keep it the Cuccio Cuticle Oil Milk and Honey smells really nice. My nails do look a little better. It retails for $18. And it's a very nice size, which I'm very excited about. We got the Biro Bitter Green Essence Toner, which retails for $95. Like I said, this better be the best toner I've ever tried in my life if they're going to charge that much for it. But even if I love it, I just don't think I could ever just justify spending $95 on a toner. Is that just me? <laughs> and then the... Kush Lash Primer in White Widow. Like I said, I'm not super into white lash primers just because you really have to coat your lashes in mascara to not get the white to show through. In the in the white ones that I've used, maybe this one will be different. I've heard good things about the actual mascara, so maybe the lash primer will just be amazing too. Retails for $24. I'm excited to get that. <clears throat> The Nelson J. Beverly Hills Moisture Healing Mask, which I hope it's amazing because A, it smells good like coconut. B, you only have to leave it in for a minute if you're using it as like a wash out treatment. If you're using it before swimming, you don't have to rinse it out at all because it's supposed to protect from chlorine and salt water. So I'm excited to have this, especially since, you know, it is summer. So I'll probably go swimming more often, maybe. <laughs> And then the Brow Bar by Rima Hollywood Icon Collection, which I have swatched here. Um, it looks like it's, it, it swatches nicely. The eyeshadows, the highlighters swatch nicely on the hand. The blushes and the brightener are a little more chalky of a formula, but I'll try them out and see how they actually perform on the face because you just never know. It could be amazing on the face, even if they are a little bit chalky on the arm. And the Nelson J retailed for $24. The Brow Bar, Bar, Bra, blah, 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 huh, huh. Brow Bar by Rima Hollywood Icon Face Kit retails for $45. I will leave the total retail value of my box here so that you know how much it retails for. It's supposed to be at least $175, I believe. So, I, I mean, I think with the toner... <laughs> to come like half the retail value value of the box plus some but I actually really do like this box 
there's only one item in here that I may or may not keep. The rest I think I will get pretty good use out of. I do have a toner open right now. I actually have two toners open right now, but they're nearing the end of their lives. So I haven't, I, I might use this one first. I might use my, when I got my Fat Fit Fun first, it just depends on how I feel that day. But I will get use out of everything in this box, except for maybe the Morphe palette. I haven't decided yet, but I think five out of six at least is very good for premium. Usually <laughs> not quite as excited about the boxes as I am this one. So I think this was a really good box in my opinion. If I saw this on a shelf for $35, I might be tempted to buy it and that's saying a lot since I'm trying to do kind of low buy thing. I did just spend some money on BoxyCharm add-ons and I did spend a little bit of money on Ipsy add-ons but unless it's for a subscription box I try not to spend too much outside of that but I would think I would be tempted by this box if I saw it on a shelf for $35. Let me know what you think down below. Did you think this was a good box? If you saw it on a shelf for $35, would you go for it or not? And did you get BoxyCharm? If so, did we get the same premium box or did you get something completely different? But if you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Helps me gauge what kind of content you guys like. And then if you've watched a few of my other videos or just really like this one, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And then leave a comment down below. If you get BoxyCharm Premium, were we box twins? Do you get a different variation? Do you get BoxyCharm at all? Or if not, what subscriptions do you enjoy the most? Like I said, this is probably one of my favorite BoxyCharm Premium boxes I've gotten. If not in a long, if not like ever in a very long time, I'm, I'm generally excited about almost everything in this box. I think it's a good, um, collection of stuff. I did get two palettes, but like I said, one I'm like on the fence about, so I don't know, but I still think it's a good deal for sure. So yeah, what, whether you like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe, comment or don't comment. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.